Hello and welcome back to Tai Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this very simple DC gear motor toy car with using a few simple parts. Let's get started. And these are the items you're going to need to make for this project. The items you're going to need some plastic straws. A DC gear motor, a 9 volt battery, a 9 volt battery connector, two gears which will attach to the DC gear motor, a chopstick, a piece of wood which will act as the housing for the entire project, and four cylinders which you can find from rolls of tape. And now let's go ahead and assemble this project and let's get started. First, what I'm going to do is take this drill. Attach it to my lab bench power supply. And what I want to do is drill out these holes and make these holes a little bit bigger so that way I can take the chopstick and stick it inside. And as you can see, it's a perfect fit. Next, I'm going to take these gears and glue it to the DC gear motor. Put some super glue onto the DC gear motor. And carefully take a gear and place it right on top and make sure that it's perfectly centered and looking inside that looks about centered. Make some minor adjustments. Spray some activator. And now repeat the same process with the second gear. And there it should look just like this. Next, I'm going to take the two chopsticks. This chopstick here will go for the back wheels. And this chopstick here, I need to cut into two pieces, which will be for the front wheels. Cut it off just like this. Perfect. Next, I'm going to take some super glue and place it inside of the socket of this gear. And I'll take the chopstick and stick it inside of the socket and twist it around a little bit. Carefully, make sure it's nice and straight. That looks good. And that looks good. Spray some activator. And there, repeat the same process with the second chopstick. And there, it should look just like this. And now the axles for this car is now ready. Next, I'm going to take the cardboard cylinder. I want to take two straws and put them inside. I want to put them both just like this. And what I need to do is take a measurement and find the diameter. And the di and as you can see, the diameter is eight centimeters. So the radius is going to be four centimeters. Measure four centimeters in a 90 degree angle. Place a mark. And now repeat the same process on the opposite end. Making sure it's correct. And I'll take another measurement and place two more marks. And now I know where I can place the straws perfectly. Next, I'm going to take the drill and drill out four holes. There we go, just like this. And I'll repeat the same process three more times. Next, I'm going to take a straw and place it through the hole and push it through the opposite side. And there, I have now one spoke. Now I'm going to add one more straw and there, now I have two spokes. Next, I'm going to go and move the straws more evenly by simply pushing it over. Same thing with the second straw. And glue it into place.
And there we go, cut off the excess and repeat the same process with the glue. And there, this wheel is now complete. And as you can see, it works. Repeat the same process three more times. And as you can see, all four wheels and spokes are now complete. Now my wheels are ready, so I'm gonna put those to the side. I'm gonna take this and put it to the side. Take the wooden board, and I wanna take the DC gear motor and place it there. Place this piece of wood, take some super glue, spray some activator, and glue the two parts together. And then take the DC gear motor and place it over here. Put some super glue first. Spray some activator on the gear motor. And glue it into place. Next, take a soldering iron and make a hole through the two spokes of the wheels. So that way, I can be able to fit the axle through the spokes. And as you can see, this plastic doesn't produce much smoke because it's actually biodegradable plastic. Next, I'm going to take the wheel and then take the axle and slip it through the spokes of the wheel. Push it in carefully. And there we go, one wheel attached and the second wheel attached. Make some adjustments to make sure it stays in more even. Perfect. Next, I'm gonna take some super glue and put it on the axle and the spokes. Glue it into place, spray some activator. And I'll repeat the same process with the second one. Next, I'm going to take this back axle and the two wheels and this straw. I want to take this straw, cut off a small piece, and then take the chopstick and put it inside the straw. Next, take the chopstick, which is the axle, and put it through the spoke and glue it into place. Next, take some more super glue and glue down the straw. Glue it to the main housing. Make sure it's nice and straight and even. Hold it in the place. Spray some activator. Wait for it to cure. And there, it is now complete. And there, this project is almost complete. Next, I'm going to take a new mini magnet, which will attach to the 9 volt battery. Take a little bit of super glue, place it onto the housing, put the new Domini magnet in place, hold it down, spray some activator, and then take the 9 volt battery, place it on top of the magnet, and as you can see, it stays in place. Next, I'm going to take the wires from the DC gear motor, remove the insulation, and solder to them. and then solder it to the 9 volt battery clip. And there you have it, the project is now complete. Now let's go ahead and test it out. Plug it in, and as you can see, it works. Now let's see how this looks. And as you can see, I encountered a minor problem. This axle slides back and forth. That's not very good. So what I need to do is make sure it's positioned perfectly first. Take some hot glue and put some hot glue onto the axle. Doing this will allow the axle to not shift back and forth. Make sure you put plenty of glue all the way around the axle. And now wait for it, and now wait for it to solidify. And now let's go ahead and make a final test. Place it outside so I have more room. And there, as you can see, it works perfectly. Very nice.
there you have it. Now you know how to make your very own DC Gear Motor toy car with using a few simple parts. Thank you for watching SciTi Tech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course click the bell icon to be notified for future SciTi Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.